Super quick before we start the video, I did want to say that we have another channel, Degenerate Plays, where we play through video games together, kind of podcast style. I really want to grow that channel this year and, and over the next year. It's not something a lot of people see. Right now we're wrapping up Assassin's Creed 1 and wrapping up Stellar Blade as well. But we've played through Kingdom Hearts games, we've played through Metal Gear games, we've played through all kinds of stuff over there, and we have a lot more in the future coming. So, appreciate you, hope you'll check that out. Let's hop into the video. Batman receiving a Hollywood star isn't something one considers when waking up in the morning, but this does put a smile on my face. Batman is getting a Hollywood star. Batman is getting recognition on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Now here's the thing. I It's not lost on me that the Hollywood Walk of Fame is kind of like, it's like the Oscars or the Grammys or the Emmys or any of these things. Now, I don't want to completely discount people's accomplishments, but I also understand that when it comes to Hollywood, self-aggrandizing and patting yourself on the back, or likewise, people around you patting you on the back, is par for the course. That's not lost on me. There are a lot of people who have worked very, very, very hard lives who never get their name cemented on stone or honestly remembered for their hard work, and it sucks. Life isn't fair. Uh, that's just kind of how it is as much as I wish it wasn't but I do think that this is really cool because there are only a limited amount of fictional characters that have actually been honored on this in on this level honestly now there are also some that I find odd to be on there like for example you know usually it's stars right usually it's movie stars or actors or people who have done different great things in the Hollywood realm I mean, there are people on there that I understand, like actually Big Bird, you know, Godzilla, uh, Mickey Mouse, obviously. Those are very big mainstays. Winnie the Pooh. There are people on there. Even The Simpsons has gotten a Hollywood Walk of Fame star, but not very many fictional characters have. It is mostly a just a thing for real life live people to celebrate their accomplishments. Now, when looking at this, I do think that this is really cool because it does go to show that obviously Batman is a household name. He's someone that resonates with people. He's someone that ever since his inception, he's gone through so many different identities in terms of like eras of Batman, you know, pre-crisis, post-crisis, New 52, Rebirth, live action. There's like so many versions of him, so many cartoon versions of him. Of course, Batman is very iconic. It's also cool that, you know, despite all these versions, he's still iconic. He's still something that has stuck the landing and resonated with people. I've talked about why Batman matters so much to me. I've talked about how this character impacts me and what it means to me. Um, you know, I've talked about it through the Arkham universe. Maybe it would be, and you can let me know if you'd be interested in this. Maybe it'd be something I should talk about in just general, like what the character of Batman means to me, because this is really a character that I think is powerful to people because it's someone who exists in a world of gods and superpowered beings and all these other people but holds his own you know showing human ingenuity uh he's showing determination showing the ability to raise yourself up through strength you know and and pull yourself up i think that those are things that land and really resonate with a lot of people who feel like they're overwhelmed in a world that's bigger than them and i think that's why batman one of many reasons why he's so iconic. There are other characters that obviously have gotten this as well, not a lot, but I did want to ask you a real quick question of the day, and then I have a couple more minutes and I want to wrap this up. It's a pretty short video. Are there any other characters that you think should get a Hollywood star that should be on the Hollywood Walk of Fame? I've seen some people say Spider-Man is up there with Batman for iconography and resonating with people. I completely agree. I can think of some others as well, but are there any other superheroes or characters in general that haven't gotten one that you think should. I did want to say one thing that bothered me about this whole thing, which is that this Hollywood Walk of Fame, it it doesn't really honor people with a set standard. And what I mean by that is that there are a lot of people who go unrecognized on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Just like there's a lot of people who go unrecognized in every facet of life. Like I said before, life's not fair, I get it. But I do think that it's kind of annoying that, for example, this is going to be near the star, I believe, of Bob Kane, who was involved in the creation of Batman, but 
Bill Finger doesn't have one. You know, Bill Finger, who was largely responsible for the creation of Batman, uh, but usually Bob Kane's name came up and superseded his, and he just kind of didn't get credit for a lot of these things. Well, Bill Finger doesn't get one, but Bob Kane does, and this star is going to be near that. That kind of frustrates me. I'm not saying Bob Kane should get no credit. It's just something kind of annoying where it's like, why doesn't Bill Finger get more credit for his hand in the creation of this character? At the same time, I do think that they are doing cool things with this system. Like, for example, Ewan McGregor was someone who recently got one. I think he deserved it. He deserved that recognition for all the roles he's played, honestly. Uh, from Christopher Robin, very underrated movie, to Obi-Wan Kenobi and more. Great actor. One thing I do like, though, about the Batman Hollywood Star of Fame is that it is actually going to be near the legendary Batman actor Adam West. So that's something that I think is cool because that does honor him in a way. Unfortunately, he's not around to see it, but it is something that I think is really, really neat. Overall, I think this is a cool little story because it goes to show how iconic Batman is. Are there things that I wish were different? Yes, absolutely. You know, for example, if I was running this, I would be, which I'm not, <laughs> it's just a reason I'm poor and these people are all rich, right? If I was running this and I was putting the Batman star down, I would also be advocating for people like Kevin Conroy, you know, who had such a profound impact. I mean, Kevin Conroy, you know, is one of the reasons I think most of us fell in love with the Batman character. I recently saw a story about how he was volunteering to even help after the fallout of 9-11 back in 2001. Like, this was a man who cared for his fellow human, and he's someone who I'd love to see get a Hollywood star. Uh, you know, there's a lot of other actors that have had a part in Batman's mythos that I think it would be amazing to see. Unfortunately, that hasn't happened yet, but maybe in the future it will. I don't know. It would be posthumous at this point, but uh, I think that's how you say it. But I would like to see it. Anyways, I'm interested to hear your thoughts down below. Are there other actors, characters, or anything like that that you think should get a Hollywood star that you think deserve this? Uh, what are your thoughts on Batman getting one? What are your thoughts on fictional characters in general? Because I know some people are not actually a huge fan of this. They say, oh, well, this should just be for people, you know, live, actual people in real life. I get it, but I think that for me, you know, if you're looking at iconography of these actors and you're looking at the contributions that they've made to entertainment, I guess to me it makes sense to also look at characters because sometimes those characters are larger than life and they can even transcend one actor. Look at Batman, he's been played by so many people. So I don't know, I'm interested to hear your thoughts on that or who you'd want to see or if you even like this kind of thing. Let me know in the comments down below. I just thought it was mostly a, a happier note story. There's been a lot of annoying or depressing things lately in the world. I thought this was cool. I also did want to say if you enjoyed this video, you want to support us, you can leave a like, subscribe. Those kinds of things help us a lot along with commenting. We also do have other channels, all of which will be in the description. Finally, we do have our own store, CosmoBunny.shop. If you want to help support this channel, we appreciate you very much. You can check it out. Use code DJAY123 for 10% off your first purchase there. That same code is our Fortnite creator code, by the way. But on CosmoBunny.shop, we make coasters, keychains, trays, and more out of recycled paper from manga, comic books, magazines, and more. And what we do is we make them something new, transformative stuff for your home that was supposed to be the whole point of that kind of thing is making something new out of something old that doesn't replace the old thing so we make those things through artistic means we try and give them a new home with you and we think it's awesome we never print out pictures we always use pictures from comics magazines etc so we're trying to reuse something that already exists in the world we hope you have a fantastic day and as always everyone stay shway